All right, let's talk about what is happening in the United States with farmland. Um, for years, something really strange has been happening around the United States and Canada. Chances are that when you drive to work uh, tomorrow or when you drive home from work today, you're going to be driving through your town and chances are you're going to be driving past hundreds of acres of farmland that are owned by the Chinese communist government. And you might not even know about it, have any idea about it. In fact, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, China now owns over 191,000 acres of U.S. lands. But that was before a North Dakota land sale that just occurred in the spring. Now China owns even more. Of course, we talked about Bill Gates here on the show, right? Buying up North Dakota farmland. The Chinese government just bought 300 acres in North Dakota, and they plan to open a milling plant there. What in the world is happening? But what's interesting is that this, is, this isn't this is just farmland in the middle of nowhere. In fact, the farmland that the Chinese government happens to be buying sits next to or adjacent to U.S. military bases. Let me repeat that. The farmland that the Chinese communist government is buying is being bought near U.S. military bases. Okay. But what's interesting is that it's not just in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's it's specifically targeting certain areas where there are they're building in fact super secret drones and all sorts of other things here's how the agriculture department played this story when this was uh, when this first broke in north dakota watch this three republican senators are calling for a review of a chinese manufacturer's purchase of farmland near grand forks north dakota Few Fen Group bought roughly 370 acres of land near the Grand Forks Air Force Base. Senators Kevin Kramer and John Hoven of North Dakota and Marco Rubio of Florida sending a letter to Biden administration officials wanting the Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S. to review the deal. Now, they're concerned the company's operations could have national security implications due to being located 12 miles from the Air Force Base. In November of last year, Grand Forks announced the company had selected the city as a location for its new wet corn mill. Now, the COO for the company's American subsidiary tells the Grand Forks Herald his company is not an espionage threat and is not owned by the Chinese government. Oh, okay. But that's just one situation. That's just one example of all of this. White House National Security Director John Kirby yesterday was pressed on this issue. Reporters, uh, by the way, this reporter had sent this information to to the White House weeks ago and was like demanding answers to be able to write about this. Like, what's the White House response? What's the the um, what's the National Security Department's uh, response on this? Anything? Please let us know. So finally, John Kirby gets up there and he's taking questions and this reporter managed to get some answers about why China is buying up farmland near U.S. military installations. Listen to him dodge this question. Uh, given the fact that uh, known adversary, in the case China, uh, foreign buyers are buying up U.S. real estate, in some case farms around military installations, is this on the administration's radar and what is being done perhaps to study this or to protect Americans from making sure that homes remain affordable and so on. I think the question of home ownership is a little bit out my out of my swim lane, but but particularly when it comes to around military installations. What I will tell you is that uh, the president has been uh, nothing but clear about our concerns about Chinese uh, unfair trade practices and economic practices. I, I understand that, ma'am, but. And buying up land around uh, military installations. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm probably not the right person to ask about homeowners. It's not about home ownership, John Kirby. It's about buying farmland that you're going to be building, manufacturing, milling, and adjacent to national military installations. Isn't foreign investment something we should ask the State Department about? You, know, you would think. You would think we'd ask about this, but he's like, oh, it's about home ownership. China, no, China's not building homes there. They're right. not building like residential homes. They're building like China's, China's moving in next door. Like, this, yeah. you know, China's moving in. It's fine. It's part There's of a new house. wacky CBS sitcom called China moved in next door. <laughs> but the U.S. State Department is perfectly comfortable warning other countries against Chinese investment. 
Right. That caused a scandal last year in Portugal when the State Department said that Portugal needs to be more weary or leery is the word, right, leery, of, yeah. of uh, Chinese investment in Portugal. And the Portuguese government's like, don't tell us what to do. So they're su super, super comfortable lecturing other countries to keep an eye on this, but won't do it for themselves. Let's listen to the rest of this, shall we? about buying up land around military installations. Is that a concern to this administration? Go ahead, April. I asked this to your, to your office last week. They've had a week to look at this, including the article. Okay, we're gonna, we're, we can get back to you afterwards. We're going to move on. Go ahead, April. So he leans over literally to Jean-Pierre, Corinne Jean-Pierre, and he's like, you got to get me out of this. He's like, Wait, can you tell her to shut up, please? Like, she asked a question, I can't answer it, so can you? And he's just like, not going to answer your question. I'm just going to keep looking at you like this. I told you, I don't know about home ownership. I don't know about mortgages and homes. I'm just going to keep looking at you like this because I've got my condescending smirk on. That is condescending. <laughs> so China, according to an investigation, um, well, so from according to a number of reports, buyers from the People's Republic of China purchased $6.1 in the United States real estate market in 2021. In 2021. The most of any foreign buyer. The Chinese government bought those 300 acres just recently, but in addition, through all of these subsidiaries buying up U.S. farmland in the, to the tune of hundreds of thousands of acres across the United States, just down the road from military bases. Um, that, by the way, in North Dakota was a drone manufacturer, um, and that's where this base was. It was a U.S. military drone base that China just made a huge purchase nearby, about 10, 12 miles away. And according to an investigation by CNN, they did this whole big land uh, investigation on this. Since 2017, federal officials have investigated Chinese land purchases near critical infrastructure, shut down a high-profile regional consulate believed by the U.S. government to be a hotbed of Chinese spies, and stonewalled what they saw as clear efforts to plant a listening devices near sensitive military and government facilities. It goes on. Among the most alarming things the FBI uncovered pertains to Chinese-made Huawei equipment atop cell towers near U.S. military bases in rural Midwest. That seems safe. Yeah. According to multiple sources familiar with the matter, the FBI determined the equipment was capable of capturing and disrupting highly restricted Defense Department communications at these bases, including those used by U.S. Strategic Command. You know, the ones that fire missiles, mm -hmm. which oversees the country's nuclear weapons. So, and then according to Huawei, uh, sorry, uh, according to the Wall Street Journal, also separately on this uh, piece, according to the Wall Street Journal, um, they can't even figure out how much land Chinese bought because our computer systems are so antiquated that they're not even able to go back far enough to identify who the buyers were in the software. They can't, the, the land records, like they estimate that it's way higher, but because our systems are so antiquated, we don't know, like the U.S. Department of Agriculture. We can't figure out who owns these things. Jesus. And in fact, this is, I'm quoting now from this Wall Street Journal piece, the government transparency of these investments falls short of basic standards. Until a few months ago, USDA's online reports went back only as far as 2004, and the data required special software to extract. Information on older purchases could be obtained only through Freedom of Information Act requests. Officials have admitted that they don't have filings related to foreign purchases of American farmland, and the data on such transactions contains errors. Okay. So I'm sure it's no big deal uh, being able to set up Huawei equipment in... Uh, this was a concern through Europe, by the way, why certain European countries said no to China setting up Huawei installations and cell towers mm -hmm. because of spying and you know surveillance. Um, so the United States is actively allowing the Chinese government to buy up farmland in and around. Um, why are they doing this, by the way? Why are they just allowing this to happen? And why is it going under the radar? Right. And oh, by the way, we're not going to answer your questions, the Biden administration. Like, we're not going to do this. We're not going to answer your questions. Move along, little lady. I don't have any answers for you. Really disturbing and really condescending, too, by the way. Yes. I don't know. Keep your eyes on that space.